With list building, it all begins with a squeeze page. There are a lot of different names for it. Capture page, landing page, opt-in page, but they're all the same thing and they're all created to do the same thing. To get visitors to hand over their email address. Basically, a squeeze page is like a sales page, but where the buy now button would be, there's a form where the visitor can give you their name and email address and sometimes other details in return for a free gift or something else that's valuable. By giving you their details, they're also agreeing that you can contact them again in the future. The whole point is to build a list of people you can email again and again and sell to. Arguably, your squeeze page is the most important part of the entire list building process because without a squeeze page, you don't get anybody on your list. So you need to focus on making your squeeze page as effective as possible and that's what we're going to do now. So why do you actually need a squeeze page in the first place? Why not just put an opt-in form on your blog or sales page? Well the problem with just having your opt-in form on a regular site is that attention gets diverted away from the form. Remember, when you want people to take a specific action, like entering their email into an opt-in form, you want to make it as easy as possible for them to do that. Sending them to a blog just distracts them from that one objective. You know, there are posts to read, there are videos to view, and there are links to click. Contrast that to sending people directly to a squeeze page, where there's nothing except a powerful headline, a strong call to action, and an opt-in form. Their attention isn't diverted elsewhere, it goes directly to the opt-in form. When a new visitor hits your site, regardless of if it's a squeeze page or a blog, you've really only got a few seconds to get their attention. It's so easy to get distracted online, so you want to move them as quickly as possible from being a fresh visitor to being a subscriber. So don't give them excuses to click away from your site or around to different pages. Just get them to sign up to your list. That's why your squeeze page has just one job, to get leads onto your list. This page must use compelling copy just as if you were asking for money for the product because they're still paying with their email address. Squeeze pages are all designed around identical concepts. The actual presentation may be different, but the focus and intent is 100% the same on any successful opt-in page. Most squeeze pages have the same elements. First of all, they have a really killer headline, and the headline should be the first thing that a visitor sees when they hit your squeeze page. It should stand out, be in big, bold lettering, and should grab the visitor's attention straight away. The most effective headlines are usually ones that state benefits or make some kind of claim. Then you need to have a strong call to action. 